Wireless LAN technology is reliable and secure. So the deployment of wireless LAN devices in industrial networks is becoming increasingly prevalent. Wireless LAN devices have their own sophisticated configuration and supervision tools. But as these devices are active components of the industrial infrastructure, they need to be visualized within the same network management application as the rest of the network. Traditionally, industrial high vision has been used to display the topology of cabled links, but it also has the capability to show wireless connections. The auto topology mechanism will discover and display both point to point links and connections between access points and clients. Point to point links, also known as bridge links, behave like cables and therefore form part of the network infrastructure. Industrial high vision uses the same display characteristics for both cabled and wireless links. So if wireless bridge links are being used as backup connections, for example, in a rapid spanning tree network, they're displayed as dashed lines. If you are using wireless LAN bridge links to extend your cabling, Industrial High Vision will provide you with a consistent view across your complete network. Wireless bridge links can save you time and money when used as an alternative to cables. With modern encryption and authentication techniques, communication over wireless links is secure. This still leaves the question of reliability. When a wireless bridge link is installed, the antenna alignment is perfect. Therefore, the data throughput is maximized. Over time, the antennas may become misaligned, usually as a result of harsh weather, such as strong winds. In this case, the data throughput deteriorates progressively until the link fails entirely. Industrial high vision can generate alarms when the antennas start to become misaligned. This gives you time to readjust the antennas before the bridge link fails. This function helps you to ensure reliability of the link. The use of wireless clients in industrial networks is increasing at a rapid rate. Today, clients fall into two categories static and mobile. An example of a static client would be a cordless nut runner. Its area of operation should not be limited by a cable, but it will never move out of its wireless cell. So just like any other end device, you need to know when it is connected or disconnected from the network. A mobile device could include a tablet or a portable workstation. An operator moves around the plant floor using the device at different locations. For you, it's important to know how the device is roaming through your network. From a network administration perspective, there's no difference between a wireless or wired end device. If you are responsible for tracking which end devices are connected to your network, both when and where, then treat both device types equally.